Hey guys, Optor Enthusiast 88 here again. So today I'm doing an installation and review of the 1022 Extended Magazine release. I've seen these all over the place on some of the custom Ruger 1022 build sites, uh, especially on magpull.com. I went ahead and scrolled through the pages the other day, just looking at some of the aftermarket parts they have for it, and all the stock images had one of these on there. This one is actually from Timber Creek Outdoors. You can get them off eBay for around 17, 18 bucks, free shipping, uh, pretty good deal. Uh, what it's gonna allow you to do actually is pretty cool. Uh, typically you have your magazine release on the bottom here where you have to go and adjust it like that well grabbing your finger in the front of the magazine and actuate the release all right what this is gonna allow you to do is install this under the trigger guard and I'll show you guys how to do that and with one hand release the magazine so you actually don't even have to use your left hand except to reload so let's go ahead take a closer look installation and I'll let you guys know what I think so what you'll need, you'll need a Ruger 1022 receiver. Uh, this happens to be my takedown, so you just need the back end receiver portion. You will need the aluminum extended magazine release. You will need a screwdriver with the proper bit. Uh, different 1022s have different bits, so just kind of find the right one for you. And you'll need a punch. This is a 1 8 punch. So let's get a little closer, show you guys how to do this. Okay, first step, take your properly fitted bit unscrew this main screw right here, holding the receiver into the stock. It does not have to come out. Go ahead and take your cross bolt safety. Want to line it up right in the middle, like so. And then go ahead and slide out the receiver. Be careful as you slide this out because there are pins in here that usually don't have any tension, like this one right here. You'll see it just comes right out, which is fine because you want to go ahead and take out two of these pins. You don't have to, but it's just a little easier to work on just the trigger group rather than hold the whole receiver. So take out two of those pins. No worry about any spring pressure or anything like that. And here is the trigger group. Just a standard trigger group for the Ruger 1022 takedown. You'll notice that the mag release is right here. A little plunger, which is how the magazine is released, is a pin right here. That pin goes and holds the bolt hold open, as well as the magazine release, the stock one. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, take a punch, go ahead and start on this side with the bolt hold open and go straight through. All right, keep it on where that pin went. You know, this one just fell on the table right there. Keep that there, you'll need that. So now here is the tricky part. All right, this is under spring pressure right here because of the mag releases right here. What you wanna do is bring back your punch all the way back through, hold this. It's not a lot of pressure, but put your finger over it and you wanna keep the bolt hold open piece there in the spot. It's just easier, you don't have to keep it there, but it's a lot easier if you don't have to get that out of there. Go ahead, remove this release, release this pressure. See how it's not gonna fall out there, but I will show you how it is designed. Simple spring mechanism, a little plunger here, but I'm going to keep that in there. All right, you'll see how inside there, there's a slot for the old release, which looks like that, as well as the new release, which looks like that. See how that looks right there? There you go. Similar design on the top part here, it just has the extension on the bottom. So go ahead, take your extension, Slide in like so. All right, go ahead, line up the holes with your punch. So take a little bit of work there, not too bad. Go ahead, take your punch, start guiding it through. All right, you don't wanna go nice, follow nice and close to that punch is. There you go. Now, Get yourself even smoother action, actually. This is a lot smoother. 
a little bit less grit because this one is actually made of plastic or this one is made of aluminum. So that is nice. So let's go ahead and put this back together. Kind of reverse process here. Drop your pins in. These pins kind of just float there. So you want to hold them together. Make sure they go all the way through. Okay, hold them in there. Grab your stock. See if your safety you can kind of go in the middle again. Go back to front. Slide it back and forward and then tighten your screw and you're good to go. And then I'll show you guys how this functions. And there she is guys. Nice aluminum upgrade. Decent installation, not too bad. Real smooth action now on this. You can really hear there's not much grit there. Uh, there was a lot of grit. You can kind of feel when you had the plastic paddle on there, actually in the plastic plunger. With this, I mean, it just seems really smooth. We'll see how that works over time. I have noticed with the BX25 mags, there's not a whole lot of a difference. I'm used to kind of grabbing the mag with the paddle up here. But with this, if you look at the finger there, pull it out, no problem. Uh, no problem with lockup as well, that stayed the same. But this thing is really light, real smooth, but where it really shines is the original Ruger 1022 10 rounder rotary mags. Uh, these of course come with a rifle and these pop in like so. And the cool part is drop out. No problem whatsoever. You know more trying to pinch it or anything like that. Uh, we'll see after shooting some rounds through it but I don't see this having any problem. Even if you do you flick your thumb you can or flip, flip your finger over here to actuate it and you can probably just grab it and you don't have to worry about pinching here and here. You just go pop it out. So, well, hey, thanks for watching guys. Uh, you know, go ahead. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely give me a thumbs up below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next review.